Alright, before any real work begins, you'll need to separate this uh, uh, frame, this rail system, from the actual seat. And again, I'll admit, I didn't do a whole lot of research before digging into it, but it looks like it should be pretty simple. Uh, I see two bolts here, and the rest of it seems to just slide in, or some metal tabs. So, uh, I don't think I'll have any issues with moving it. I found my 13 millimeter socket here. It's kind of funny that this car really has no rust anywhere on the underbody, but there's rust on the interior. You know, that's crazy. You'll never see this, but I'm, I'm gonna have to clean this off. There are some electrical connections that I'll need to disconnect, but the frame seems to still be stuck on this. Try to get a good pull. Okay, something's holding it on the bottom, even though I didn't see anything. I'm not sure what's holding it in place. Okay, here we go. I just need to put some more muscle into it. Okay, so obviously one of the things that's holding it in place is this electrical connector. It should come out with relative ease. And another thing, uh, we have these see them. Cables, uh, basically for your sliding and reclining functions, you know, they're connected to the actual seat here, here, and, you know, I have to disconnect them just to get the frame on, at least on this side. Okay, so it's just a electrical connector for this motor here.
by the way, I didn't mention this in the video, but it's always a good idea to take plenty of pictures of this area before you disassemble it, just so you know how everything goes back together. I mean, it should go without saying, but I did that before the video started running. Okay. I once had to do the same job on my E36 M3. That one had actually manual seats. Uh, it was a lot less involved than this. Not that this is bad, but... Oh yeah. This frame weighs a ton. I don't know the, the official weight, but I mean, it's gotta be... I would guess 25 to 30 pounds. Now, see things like this, this uh, spiral here on this motor, this shaft, it's always a good, uh, good idea to look at it, you know, when you have it all apart. Uh, I'm also gonna clean out this rusty bits and paint them. Uh, even though no one's gonna see that, it's, I don't know, I just think it's a good practice. Especially if you, plan to do, if you plan to keep this car for a long time. Okay, so the next step is to disconnect this uh, plastic bit. And I'll have to be super careful with this because, again, it's really old plastic. Alright, here I have this kit here, just uh, specially made to remove these kind of clips. You can grab this on Amazon for I think 15 bucks. If you're going to do any type of interior work, this is very useful. And see, now I can reuse these clips. Screws here as well. Nothing special, just uh, Phillips screws. Thank <laughs> you. 
here's here's our mistake that I made. I should have reclined this chair all the way back to make this job easier. Here we are. Now I need to take this to the bench and uh, I'll order a hog ring tool uh, to undo this leather. And uh, then I'm gonna move on to the seat back. Alright, so here's what we're left with after we remove our you know bottom seat cushion. Uh, this foam piece or actually this leather piece was held onto this foam with uh, these little metal rings that are also called hog rings. Uh, I found that the easiest way to undo them is just with a pair of uh, pliers. You, you just bend them you know, to get them kind of, uh, what should I call it? Um, okay, basically you have to bend them then you pull them out and that's that's the easiest way to do it. I mean, I guess you could cut them with the Dremel, but I, I felt that, like this was a lot easier. Uh, so what have we here? So see, this is the area where my leather was ripped, obviously, so it's still dirty. And this, this white piece by itself is just a, it's a seat warmer. And it looks like it's you know glued to this foam. So I don't think I'm gonna take it out. I mean, I don't think I need to. The foam itself is in great shape, I think, except for this area here. Uh, but I think I think we can fix that. As far as this leather is concerned, obviously there is a big hole, and the way it's ripped, it's not just among this. Uh, it's not just along the stitching, but you know we also have some perpendicular rips here and here. So, uh, yeah, I think I can take it somewhere and get it stitched up, but its I don't think it's going to look right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this middle section removed and have the leather, you know, matched uh, to my seat back. You know, this is just the bottom part, so even, even if the shade is just slightly off, it's not going to be, it's not going to be very noticeable. Uh, my, you know, my passenger seat is actually in great shape. Uh, it just needs a, you know, really good cleaning. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remove a leather from it. Well, actually, I lied. I'm gonna have to remove this, uh, uh, the cover from the seat back because I need to replace the seat belt guides. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that part. Okay, first things first. Uh, our first task would be to remove these two clips here. And this is where my handy pry bar is gonna come into play. Yeah, I think it goes without saying, but when you're working on these seats, uh, it's always best to put some kind of cardboard or something down on the ground so you don't put scuff marks on the leather or anything else. All 
right, there's one. And there's two. So I think the way this comes out is you have to slide it up Like it's really on there. Now I've seen some people actually hitting it with a rubber mallet. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. Ah. These are the two things that hold it in place. Set this aside. All right, here's the next thing. Uh, we have this sensor here that we're gonna have to take out. Um, this one you, you wanna be really careful with because it's, uh, I guess it's pretty brittle. get it out is uh, watch this I'm zoom in for you okay see these two little uh, attachments here so the way you undo this is uh, see this uh, these middle sections you just have to push them all the way in I'm just going to use one of these guys. Press it in. And it's okay if these uh, you know, plastic bits just fall in because we're gonna do, undo this cover anyway, so we're gonna see them underneath there. Then gently slide this off. Now we're going to have to undo this uh, zip tie here.
Okay, after a little bit of pondering, I figured out how to get these uh, hog rings off. So, you have to fish these straps out and pull them uh, this way, towards the bottom of the, of the chair. And when you pull it, you know, it's going to pull the hog ring right, around, right along this uh, rod here. And it's going to make it visible to you. And that's when you can actually dry it off. So I guess the installation is going to be the reverse. You know, when I put the new hog rings on, you know, I'm going to attach it here. And just slide it all in. Okay, so with any luck, the leather should just peel off now. Okay, here's a little clip. It's a clip that holds this uh, seat belt guide in place or held it in place rather. Victory at last. Oh no, more hog rings. Uh, okay. Seat leather is off. Now I'll just need to get brand new seat belt guides. Before that, I'm gonna uh, clean this leather. See, this right here is what it should look like. I don't know if you, if you can tell, but it's much brighter than, than the outside. Uh, so maybe I'll go to, I'll go with Leatherique and see what they have to offer as far as uh, leather cleaning products uh, because you know this leather here is a lot darker than it is here well let's we'll see what can be done i mean i'll i'll try to make it as uh close to brand new as uh, as possible you know i'm happy that this bolster looks good 
Although, once again, uh, the leather on the bolster isn't the best. Uh, I might have to go with some kind of a leather filler. It's not torn all the way through, but it, uh, you can see right here, it's not the best. All right. Well, I hope I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's 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 not a complicated process really, but it it, it is a bit uh, tedious, and I think the reassembly is going to be harder than the disassembly. You know, I, t I, I took plenty of pictures to, just to make sure how, you know, that I know uh, how everything goes together. But yeah, we shall see. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe or at least uh, give me a couple likes.